This video is sponsored by PoTownStore.com, the best place to get yourself some TCGO code cards. Looking for that last card to complete your deck or just to get the latest booster packs in town like Chilling Ring, for example, you can use the coupon code ZABLUSTCG for 5% off your complete order. How fantastic is that? Also, this video is sponsored by CardMarket.com. This is a European platform where you're gonna be able to buy and sell cards to people all across Europe. I personally use it every single day and they even have old school cards for the collectors out there. Last but not least, this video is also sponsored by YourPlayMat.com. This is a website where you're gonna be able to create your own unique custom playmat. Use the coupon code zablucg 10 yp for 10% of your complete order or just click the link in the description below to create your own fantastic playmat for the new season. Anyhow, uh, thanks for sticking around with the commercials. I'll see you guys in a bit. So uh, see you then. What's up YouTube? It's Zablo's TCG here and welcome back to our TCG video on my channel. On this channel you get daily Pokemon TCG content so be sure you are subscribed so you don't ever miss out. Today up on the menu another tier 1 deck ADP Galarian Moltres V, aka ADP Bird, seems to be doing very well in today's metagame of Chilling Rain. You use Ultra Creation if you want to, to get additional prize cards against specific archetypes, or you can just uh, one shot V Maxes in general. And Galarian Moltres just hunts Shadow Rider Calyrex. Uh, the Galarian Zabdos hunts Eternatus V Max as well as Speaker Rom. So uh, you have uh, quite an array of Pokemon which you can uh, choose from. And in combination with Ultra Creation, these actually dish out huge damage, 220. Way easier to set up than a Zacian, so there's only two copies of Zacian in here. I know Zacian draws cards, but this accelerates to itself, and you can just, uh, if you use it once, at the following turn, you can actually attack with it. So it's super solid, that Galarian Moltres V, and uh, with Ultra Creation, that's 220, slapping down most uh, V Pokemon in town. Super powerful, for sure. We have Radiant Force, sometimes you can discard your uh, Dart Energy so you can accelerate them, so this actually... It's sort of like Metal Saucer built into the ability, so super powerful. And uh, what else do we have is, of course, Aegis Slash against those pesky Decidueyes that have been popping up lately. And um, yeah, this is going to be a solid list with four boss and even Echoing Horn, slapping down some of the Pokemon from the opponent's discard pile onto their bench. So uh, we'll see how this goes. This is an Aurora Energy build. You might even think about adding in stuff like Zamazenta and stuff. But I see that this list has been performing well, so we're making a video about it today. If you're a fan of the daily Pokemon TCG content or uh, yeah, uh, this deck in general, be sure to let me know by destroying the hell out of the like button. Helps out in many, many ways. Okay, let's just uh, get this video started. And uh, what can we say? What can we say? This is an interesting list. I think the one uh, with Peony, I prefer a little bit more. Yeah, but on the other hand, uh, yeah, with Pat to the Peak being everywhere and you actually discarding your own hand with stuff like Peony, the Path to the Peak is super dangerous. This list is running Viridian Forge to actually get rid of the stadium and also get uh, some of your energies. This is a funky energy uh, lineup, like five metals, four dar, and it's only one water. We'll see how it goes though. We start with Galarian Moltres, not the worst starter to uh, have, that's for sure. We have the Danny, we have Crobat. It all depends on what we're up against, to be honest. We can get an energy in the discard pile, then Saucer Energy Switch is an option. And we're up against some sort of uh, Porygon Z build, so maybe Blissey V or something. We'll see how it goes. We get that Metal Saucer though, so that is instantly good news for us. So we can Quick Ball, find Zacian, Quick Ball, find... Um, yeah, we don't have a boss in, in the hand, so we'll see how it goes. Okay, he just gets a little Porygon out, and that's all we are dealing with right now. So energy, let's get rid of that. Get in our we can go for Mawal. It's a funky way to go about it. He didn't use the Dene here, so I don't think he has more. We could be entirely wrong though. I'm gonna wait. I am going to wait. We'll just get the Zacian out so we can saw, uh, Intrepid Sword later. This as well. Quick bowling away. The Echoing Horn. What do we still need? An ADP, of course. Taking additional prize cards is good. We have Galarian Zapdos if he comes with Blizzy or something. This first. Do we slap down the Crobat here? We can gust this guy up, but we're not going to do that. We can still play a supporter. So, first of all, Crobat. Maybe we can get a first turn Ultra Creation off. We have the Aurora Energy. We're gonna get rid of this metal energy as well. Let's just go for Danny. We can still play research on top. So that's how crazy the game has been right now. With so many draw engines, it's utterly ridiculous. We don't have the E-Switch, unfortunately. We do have the Boss Zords though. Boss Zords, E-Switch. Yeah, the E-Switch is something we desperately needed. <laughs> they are very surprised. Air Balloon onto the Moltres. 
Uh, yeah, I think he can poke onto the Moltres. I don't know if he's gonna be able to KO it though. That's something we don't know. We could slap down Mawal or Wake with another Dedane here. We'll see how it goes though. The boss's door is also not too bad if this guy's in the active slot. Maybe hanging on to some boss is a good idea. Let's go for the, the Cherish Ball, finding the Dedane. And then the Quick Ball could make sure we can get whatever we need the following turn. Let's go, Intrepid Sword. Yeah, we have the Darkness Energy. We can get rid of that with the... Yeah, we, we uh, really will need to play the Dana here, unfortunately. There's no way. There's no other way. Chaotic Swell. Okay, it is Blizzy. It is entirely Blizzy. So, Galarian Zapdos will be a super useful tool here. He already has two V Pokemon in play. Okay, let's see. He can go... Oh, we have the Energy Switch. Perfect. We can just attach it as well. So, it's not the biggest issue in the world. Zacian can also 260, unless he has, ooh, rare candy Porygon. Does he have some other ways to go about this? We are playing a very uh, aggressive deck with Ultra Creation that the game could be over before you know it. B catch. Will we find our uh, one copy of Marnia Reset Stamp? That is to be determined. But uh, right now, we're gonna go for Ultra Creation and go after these two true prizers. I don't know if he's gonna be playing Kramer and VMAX. That could be the case. It could be the case. Okay, another saucer down. Okay. Saucer. There we go. Attachment of turn. There we go. Uh, Cherish Ball, Dirdane. Let's rock. Let's see what we'll be able to find here. Lots of E-switches though. Could have knocked out this Cramorant instantly with the Zacian, but we'll see how, what it brings. Raiding Forest overlapping the Chaotic Swell. Unfortunately, not getting the full effect off. Uh, yeah, let's just go for research so we can get that darkness energy in the discard pile and start setting ourselves up here. Let's go. The dire flame wings. Ta ta. Yeah, they are very surprised about that. They should be. Let's go. Altered creation. Freaking GX. Let's rock. Okay, the next turn we have two attackers ready. We have the Zacian of all things, as well as Mal Galarian Moltres, both gonna be able to attack. So that's how cool it is. You don't no longer need like four Zacian in order to just have saucer, saucer attachment. This Galarian Moltres just attaches to itself, which is super strong. Crazy code. We'll see if this Blizzy is gonna be taking down our ADP here. I wouldn't utterly mind because Zacian is gonna be able to KO that Blizzy. Angler and Moltres is going to be able to take care of that Cramorant. That's how it's going to be. How much is he going to be able to do? Let's see here. Three energies attached. That is already 100 damage. That's something we know. No powerful Karas energy just yet. The fourth energy allowing 50 additional damage. The sixth energy. Oof. That's even 80 damage. Let's see here. 180. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's 160 with the powerful current energy. 180, yeah. Probably not gonna get to the full effect here, and that means we will need to boss this Zedane. That's the only logical explanation. Uh, Ultimate Ray, we can just use that for a Darkness energy. It's so crazy. We will have Aurora energy, Metal energy, and Darkness energy all attached to our ADP, and that's going to uh, allow us to coke for crazy damage output on the Dane. While accelerating basic energies from the deck, I think we still have a couple of them left. One metal, so I think we have two metal left. Okay, another energy. Second copy. That's uh, He's going to be devoting all of his energies onto the Blizzy here. 180, that's uh, 210. Yo, we still tank that like a champ. Yeah, that's pretty bad for the opponent. Let's imagine we draw into a switch card. <laughs> he will lose all of his energies. That doesn't happen, but uh, let's just attach another uh, Chaotic Swell. So he does play a lot of swells here. Let's attach this Darkness energy. Let's gust up this guy. There we go. Next up, I think that the Aldegas is in the discard pile, so we might as well go for a quick ball, getting rid of this ADP. Getting ourselves with the Galarian Zapdos that comes out of nowhere to swing by. And uh, yeah, that's probably gonna be game. Whatever he comes with, we have three attackers ready. Let's go. We have Zapdos, Moltres, Zacian. They are all eagerly hungry to attack. Okay, we even have the water energy, so the darkness energy goes here. And the water energy, four of the memes. 
for the memes on the uh, crow. Ah, probably should have attached it here because we have a Carlos Energy requirement. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Yeah, probably should have put it on the, the uh, Galarian Moltres here. It doesn't matter. We do have a pivot. If he goes for tool scrap, we still have a pivot. It doesn't matter. Yeah, and uh, with Oracorio, we'll be able to draw more cards. So this, unless he has Cape of Toughness, we should be okay, right? Rare Candy, second copy of Porygon Z. So he gets these out very consistently. He potentially could Marnie us. That is always something to be aware of. We already wasted two energy switches. We still have one left. Okay, boss orders. Now that I think about it, this is a, a painful uh, thing to see. Painful thing to see. That means we need boss's orders again. So we have the air balloon there. Okay, what do we get? A research. A research could provide us with an aurora energy. Yeah. The Dire Wing Flames we can use later. So I think I will just go for this. Discard all these things doo -doo -doo, and try to find our Aurora Energy, right? Yeah, there we go. Aurora Energy. He has three V Pokemon in play. So the game has been decided by Zapdos. Just needing one energy to slap that Blizzy for weakness and destroying it. So we used Moltres, ADP, Zacia. Ah, it's crazy, this deck. Every single, every single time we're making a video, I say this deck is crazy, but... You guys are aware, right? This is utterly a broken deck. You can do whatever you want. You have the mute to protect your bench against G-Max Rapid Flows or uh, any other Marcus that wants to slap us down. A little bit afraid of Path to the Peak now that I'm thinking about it because that shuts down the ability of Moltres, Zacian, the Dene, Zapdos, Crobat. All these abilities are shut down, so you will need to be faster than the opponent while setting up. Okay, luckily we do have Reach Stamp and Marnie for the late game so this is not like uh, your one trick pony deck adp has some new tricks we want the coin flip i think you always want to go first yeah it's still adp man okay zation in the active slot do we go for zation and then slap down zapdos right there zapdos does only have a one retreat cost which is probably better and uh, it has a weakness to psychic so it all depends on what we are up against to be honest we still go first so we can go for zation uh cherish ball the Dene, and if Zacian is on the bench, we can also Viridian Forest and find some other things necessary. Okay, Zamazenta. Interesting. Viridian Forest. I will wait with the Viridian Forest, which is going to the Dene first. Galarian Moltres is part of the squad, ADP is part of the squad, and our Water Energy is prized. So now that I actually know that, I will use Viridian Forest right now. Let's get rid of the Slash. don't even know if we need the Aegis Slash in this matchup, but it's fine. Let's just get rid of this so we can saucer it on. There we go. Two energies down the drain. Even two balls down the drain, but we do have Aldegas. Okay, interesting development. Metal Energy. Over here. And then a classic Intrepid Sword. Ooh, this is a bad Intrepid Sword. That's our third copy of Boss, by the way. We do have Echoing Horn and... Escape rope. This list does not run great catcher, by the way. Quick ball. It's probably gonna be Luke Metal, right? Luke Metal, pretty damn scary, but uh, we do have our Galarian Moltres. Hopefully, we will find it next turn. Turbo patches. What? Now I've seen everything, right? Attachment. And then classic Intrapator. Okay, we are still safe. We can energy switch and start poking with Galarian Zabdos if we want to. If we really, really want to. Okay, let's go. Quick ball. Let's get rid of the research. Getting ourselves ADP. Let's go. ADP. E switch. Onto the ADP. What else? Do we. Yeah, we're gonna have to say goodbye to all these precious cards. Hopefully, we will find what we need, though. Come on. We do have Saucer. A Galarian Moltres. A Cherish Bowl on top of that. And another Dedenne. Okay. It's gonna have to come down to this. We will say goodbye to all of our bosses or unfortunately. Unfortunately. Okay. Or do we Crobat? Really want to find Aurora Energy and Switch, so I will dig here. So let's just get rid of the Marnie. Another Darkness Energy. How many Darkness Energies are in there though? 
two of them. We can still load them up later. But I want to maximize my chances right now and drawing into Aurora Energy and Switch so we can get that Alter Creation off. There we go. Switch. Aurora Energy. Probably will not need another Quick Ball. Although Quick Ball could have ensured us for uh, Eldegoss, but it's fine. Alter Creation. Hopefully it doesn't play Mellow Lana because Turbo Patch, this probably is some sort of aggressivization. Although I could be entirely wrong. Okay, we've played out a lot of our resources. We played very, very aggressively. Luckily, uh, Moltres is going to be able to set himself up. It is Luke Metal with Turbo Patches. What? And we have burned through all of our boss's orders, by the way. We have burned through all of our boss's orders. That's crazy. Echoing Horn, not... Research? Okay, no other two prizes here. We also don't have Rusted Sword, so uh, this could be a, a tough matchup, by the way. This could be a tough matchup. Luckily, all the things in the discard pile we can uh, get back with Galarian Moltres. Okay, instantly going to discard all of our energy. This is some sort of a Bronzong build. Okay, very nicely played. That's for sure. Let's absorb this. Yes! How many switch outs? Only one switch out, I think, okay. Let's attach here and go for the Intrepid. Okay, we have that switch, we have that switch. So we can potentially knock this guy out. We don't no longer have boss's orders, by the way. We'll see if he has boss and switch in hand. Four cards, quick ball. Maybe this guy is playing the Danny GX in his uh, Luke Metal weird Bronzong box. Also having 60 HP Bronzars. Funky list. Oh, Derulodon? What? Yeah, we no longer have boss. We only have one. One boss available. Let's, he already wasted down two switches and a rope, though. Let's just hope. It's uh, an air balloon. Is he going to uh, go for the steel wall shit? Yeah, yeah, there he goes. That means we can poke this guy. Uh, not for enough damage, unfortunately. Dire Flame Wings. Okay, we could rope, get a prize card. Yeah, because this guy's gonna retreat and we're never gonna be able to uh, KO him back. 260. Still knocks out. It doesn't knock out the Derulodon though, so we are in huge trouble. Hmm. It doesn't knock out the Derulodon, but maybe he's stuck, but with the Bronzong he can move all the energies. To this guy. We still have the Mew to poke three damage counters here though. Litter does he know. Litter does he know. Okay, let's just get rid of do we have the echoing horn? Okay. Aurora energy. Let's get rid of this. Switch around, poke damage, then go for the Mew play. Sounds like a plan, right? Brave Blade. Activation. Yeah, this is gonna be fun, man. 200. I, I think maybe he's not playing Melolana. And this is only when we knock out the active, right? For the rest of the game, if this Pokemon at least extra. When you're knocked out by damage, that's bad. Yeah, he just retreats, knocks us out with this, but then we knock. No, don't knock him out with the, the Moltres, unfortunately. Maybe we should have poked with the Moltres first. Okay, there's a Marnie play. We should have poked with the Moltres first. Because right now we're not going to be able to have answers against that Zacian. We do have uh, an Ultra Zacian and a Saucer. We do have Eldegoss. Eldegoss boss for prize cards. Could be a way out. This guy does. Steel Fist doesn't even knock us out. He doesn't even knock us out, so now I'm in a loss for words, man. I'm in a loss for words. Okay, let's retreat. Yeah, let's retreat. Go for Moltres. Get rid of this. Get rid of that. Uh, he could boss this, but we can Echoing Horn do some stuff. I wonder if he's gonna have boss Zords. Maybe we wait with our Saucer, maybe he Marnies. Leaves this guy alone. No other Pokemon which we can take down to 20. We can still Gust after the Bronzor though. So that's just fine. 
try to set ourselves up. No longer need another Zacian. No other energies. We do have Aurora energy left, which is the card we need. Let's go! We even have Dire Flame Wings, which we can utilize and get an energy to somebody else. 1v, 2v, 3v, sap those attacks for one energy. Yeah, maybe we can have a pivot with that. E-switch. This to the Zapdos, I guess, for the memes. And uh, attack, Aurora Burn. This was a strange turn of events. He should have knocked us out. He should have knocked out the Zations. Probably a little misplay. So now we take four prize cards and we have the Saucer and we have the Pivot. So uh, we definitely win this game because the uh, Zation has an Air Balloon. That's not uh, a Metal Goggles. That means if he doesn't boss, we should be okay. And um, we do have Eldegal's boss, Bronzor. Bronzor is a one prize Pokemon, giving up two prize cards thanks to the effect of Alter Creation. So we won this game by uh, some misplays by the opponent, even slaps down, we, ooh, reset stamp. Luckily we do have that uh, Zabu's pivot if we draw into what we need, okay. Okay. Okay, Bronzong, okay, the Derulodon is a huge problem though. The Derulodon is a huge problem. And we've already wasted all of our draw support. Brave Blade knocking us out. Oh, just Brave Blade, man. Not even uh, retreating to the Derulodon and knocking us out that way because right now we just attach and win. I don't get it. This was filled up by a lot of misplays. Yeah, here we go. Aurora Energy game. Yo. The Echoing Horn was fun. I'm not even gonna say well played because there was a lot of mistakes made during this video. Maybe you always say like, well played, uh, but this time the opponent has to think he, she, he, she or he or she could have won if uh, he or she played it out differently. But yeah, sometimes you just squeeze out games like this. We haven't seen any V maxes just yet, so we're gonna grind some more on the verse ladder. And uh, let's see if we're gonna be able to get some more Ws with ADP birds. I'm enjoying myself. Seeing Zapdos in action, Galarian Moltres is just the most bonkers cards I've seen so far. Sets it up very nicely. We lost the coin flip. <laughs> he also has Bidoof uh, sleeves. Hilarious. Okay. Sliding up the ADP here. We can also go for ADP for the additional buff damage. Let's see what we're doing here. Subble. Subble. Let's see. Subble, subble. No Inteleon. Quick ball. Inteleon. No Decidueye? If it is Decidueye, we have the Aegis. Oh, it is Rapid Strike Urshifu. We cannot hit that for weakness, unfortunately. This, we do have the Mew already. Let's get rid of a boss. Quick Ball. Get rid of a boss, I guess. What do we need? Zacian, Moltres. Zacian and Moltres are nice cards. There's no uh, darkness energy in the discard pile just yet. I think I will just take a Zacian so we can Intrepid Sword later. Let's slap down one of these Dedenne. Let's rock. Another Aurora energy. This is actually not bad. This Aurora energy allows us to actually get rid of the darkness energy and already set ourselves up with none other than the Moltres. Moltres is in the house. Okay. Let's go. Dire Flame Wings. I don't know if we should research here just because of the fact we already have an Aurora in hand. Sounds like a plan. Just gonna go for Intrepid. Ooh, we get no additional energy on top of that. Perfect. So three energies in play. This is our first turn. Opponent didn't have an energy. He did find that Urshi, but that's about it. We're gonna Ultra Creation. Gonna take some additional prize cards. We have to worry about the, the pings of the Inteleon though because our Mew is a little bit fragile. Didn't want to put it in the discard pile because G-Max Rapid Flow is a huge issue. And by the time he's setting himself up with three Inteleons, should have prevented at least one G-Max Rapid Flow, right? Drizzle, Drizzle. So probably gonna be seeing a Gale Trust in our face. I don't know how this matchup specifically goes. I don't even know how many the Dene or Crobat he's running. Urshifu is here. A rope. Yeah, in that case, take my Zacian, man. 
And we will uh, just switch, uh, hopefully no Marnie. Ah, that Marnie is super powerful. Luckily, we still have other means to draw cards. Okay, let's see. Energy switch and a research, that's not bad. The Gale Trust on the Zation. Need to be finding that switch card, man. So we quick ball away the Darkness Energy. Okay, what else? Can we put something in the discard pile? This Aegis Slash, I guess. Yeah, taking that one. E-switching. Do we E-switch? Let's see here. The Dire Flame Wings. We just need to find a switch card, right? We're gonna switch with the Zation. Uh, maybe we can draw into a research on top of that. I know two, slapping down two Dene is always bad. Definitely against uh, this deck. <laughs> what is this? Okay. Uh, yeah, okay. Attachment of the turn. And we will need to use energy switch in order to retreat ourselves. How ridiculous is that? Retreat. And uh, let's get rid of this. Metal energy, I guess, because we have access to darkness energies from the discard pile. Okay, this is gonna be a difficult matchup because Zation is not looking too bright here. Older creation, and we don't have a psychic type attacker. Is there any psychic type attacker we could be potentially using in this deck? Maybe an MDD or something? Telescopic side, yeah, that means that both of our denies will get knocked out if the Mew doesn't survive. That means the Italians will poke down the Mew and then. Both of our Dedanids will get knocked out, so this is a huge matchup. Oh, we have Echoing Horn for that. I think I got rid of that, right? No, we, we didn't get rid of it, so okay. Yeah, right now, we will need to find boss's orders so we can knock out this Urshi on the bench. Or the Dedanid on the bench. And he will work. Quick, oh, we have burned to all of our Quick Balls, though. That's bad. Super bad. Here's the Gale Trust. I am very afraid right now. He didn't find any Intellions, which is good, but yeah, this is bad. Saucer Attachment is an option. Dire Flame Wings. Activation. Viridian Forest. Yeah, the G-Max Rapid Flow could come into fruition here. Attachment. Attachment. Oh, I did that entirely wrong. Did that entirely wrong. Oh well, we can boss an Echoing Horn boss again because two-shotting this uh, fella, it's probably going to be like having a Cheryl or having a Switch, so it's okay. It is entirely okay. We have two attackers ready. So, and we have boss and Oracorio as well, so I'm, I'm fine with this. Just need to hunt after Echoing Horn now. He gusts up the Mew here, which means he can take down all of these guys, all of these guys simultaneously because we have no way to recover the Mew. And the G-Max Rapid Flow with Telescopic Sight will take care of the Zation here. But that's only on the bench though, so we will need to attack with this guy now. Oh boy, crazy things happening. Let's take down this Dedenne. Or Choreo in the house. No longer needs have those. Some more energies inside. Let's take Darkness 1. Dance of the Tree. This is a strange scenario to be in. Saucer as well. Yeah, we still needed to two shot anyhow. So uh, let's take all these energies out of the deck. Darkness. Metal, although this guy will get knocked out. Yeah, with two Intellions, he can actually get the job done. He will need to kill G-Max Rapid Flow in combination with Intellions. We don't know what is in his hand, though. Yeah, and then next turn, we just go for Echoing Horn. Or Mawal, that is a thing. Five cards in hand. One Intellion down. Two Drizzle down, so he cannot Drizzle himself out of this one. 
Okay, he can go for shady dealings or just one Intellion is efficient, to be honest. One Intellion and then one energy, right? Quick shooting, G Max, Rapid Flow, taking himself five prize cards, right? Yeah, that's just well played. We no longer have answers just because of our slowish start. Yeah, that, that's exactly what would have happened. Even if we knocked out uh, one of these other ones, it still would have taken us three, three attacks. We don't, we don't have a psychic type attacker in our list. So these uh, fellas are difficult for sure. Unless Echoing Horn did any plays go happen. Okay, let's play one more game with none other than ADD Birds. We lost the coin flip, it's a Rowlet coin though. Rowlet coins always gets me a little bit on my toes. You never know what happens. And look at this hand. Look at this hand. Cherish Bowl to Danny, I guess. Another one of these subbles. Will he find a little Rowlet? Lovable. Okay, this is going to be Rowlet. That's not bad because the only thing we are concerned about is going for Aegislash here. Aegislash can cut these guys wide open. Not a big issue at all. Yeah, you can do whatever you feel like. Cherish Ball, the Dene. Okay, lots of Decidueye though. We will need to knock out three of them. Subble, subble, roll it, roll it, roll it. He still doesn't know what we're playing, but... <laughs> Aegislash Slash instantly. Okay. Cherish Ball. Yeah, it's gonna have to be the den here. Aegislash Slash, the den. <laughs> He's gonna say, well played already. We'll see what happens. Ta 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 ta. Viridian Forest energy switch. Okay. Viridian Forest will allow him to attack instantly. We already have a way. Energy there. Viridian Forest. I guess research because we really need to find our water energy for ADP. So we can get the Alter Creation GX off. This one. Viridian for we have the energy switch as well. Hilarious. Okay. Probably will not need the darkness energy, so let's get rid of the darkness energy. Get a Zation up on board. There we go, Zation. Next up. The Mawan goes away. Water energy is in the house. Water energy here. And let's go for an intrepid. Okay. So uh, we're gonna be going for attachment of the turn and then go for dire flame wings. We could retreat alter creation and then set ourselves up with egg slash. That's the plan, right? That is the plan. Grass energy. He did have energy surge, so he doesn't need Viridian Forest. Level ball. We probably will need to have a uh, one spot open for none other than uh, you to protect yourself and he has a couple of these other pokemon which we can hunt down to be honest you can marnium to a low hand size attachment there we still have access to a dedani or crobat although preferably i would need i think i will just attach the aurora energy and then go for marnie so there's a metal energy in this and the deck so we can go with uh ultra creation and then ultimate raid the following turn how many boss left all of them perfect Here's the research. Does he find another? Yeah, he does find another Drizzle. So uh, the sniping on the, the Aegislash will be legitly insane. It's gonna be a close game. It's gonna be a close game. I don't know how many scoop up nets he is playing. Okay, rare candy. Here comes the Sigui, I guess. The, the Sigui. Also hidden us for weakness, by the way. Scoop up net the entire Drizzle line. Is he gonna set up another one? Yeah, this actually is gonna give up two prize cards at one point, which is bad. Being weak to grass here, splitting arrow, Aegislash will feel that, ADP will feel that. Maybe he's gonna go after the, uh, the Danani, nope. As I figured. Okay, let's go. Dire Flame Wings. 
Aurora Energy and a classical Marnie play no longer needing the Zation so uh, let's just take one so they're on the bottom of the deck let's go for a Marnie play maybe we can get a switch or a rope a boss that's perfect this is the switch by the way could protect us and switch us into Aegis Slash do we retreat we could retreat or just find an uh, energy switch how many energy switches here too interesting maybe we just switch right how many switches have been used one still have air balloon and other stuff so let's just go for this I don't know if you should go for quick ball um, quick ball Mew so we can protect this little guy this guy can also attack we have bosses orders there's still a darkness energy in the discard pile maybe we wait although this guy could get knocked out instantly on the spot Bosses or Quick Ball to Dan is also an option. Just go for Ultra Creation, I guess. Yeah, he could actually hunt after Aegis Slash, but we have Resistance. And I think first of all, if we top back an Energy, I think Viridian Forest, if it's still in play, we can use that. And then Quick Ball Mew is the best option here. Okay. Maybe we should just hang on to our switch if he like gusts this guy up to start pushing up some damage there. Okay, there's another research. Gets rid of the boss. So he had an option to do that. Didn't go for it. Intellion snipes. So we are pretty much on a clock right now. Unless we gust up this Intellion, which we will do this turn. Okay. Yeah. The Glaring Moltres is going to go down. Splitting arrow. Yeah, I, I figured as much. So the Mew would have not done too much here. He's in, uh, in front of the prize race, but it's not going to be for long. Although this guy also gets 90 damage, by the way. 90 freaking damage. I don't know how many bosses or he's playing, though. Okay, folks, let's do this. Braden Forest. Metal Energy. Attachment. Bosses orders on the Inteleon. I'm not gonna slap down the Mew because at one point, although if we slap down the Mew right now, we are still okay, right? Because we can gust up the other Intellion later. Yeah, the Mew is priced, of course. Let's just take down the Al let's just take the Aldegas then. Let's take the Aldegas instead. Ultimate Ray, getting rid of this guy. Triple Metal onto our Aegis Lash. And let's cut open uh, a Decidueye here. Let's see. Darkness Energy and Air Balloon. So yeah, if, even if he wants to stall it out, it's not going to be happening. And this guy also has resistance, so we only slap 60, which is super huge. A Drizzle, it's not going to stop us too much. We will just gust up this guy and then cut open at the Sigui, and that's gonna be the game. Okay, he bosses probably to the Aegis Slash here. But he's only gonna slap 60 damage. Nothing to worry about here. Gusting up the Zation, as to be expected. Scooping up the Drizzle. And maybe he thinks we are stuck. Yeah, maybe he thinks we are stuck, but it's not gonna work. Clever plan, but not gonna work out. We can Aldegas, Marnie, I guess. Yeah, Aldegas, Marnie is the best plan right now. Air Balloon. We retreat. We Aldegas. We Marnie. And he will not, not have solutions for this one. Just in case, we can just put an energy on this guy. And uh, let's go for Marnie. Classical Marnie, putting him to four cards. We have boss, 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 rope. Oh, okay, okay. We have enough gust as it is. I get it. Sonic Edge, finally, the Egg Slash doing something, making sure we win this matchup. So the only thing you need in this match is an Egg Slash and you go through everything. 
and uh, with him being Marnit to four cards and at the CGY there's no way he can win. He still needs to take four prize cards. No Drizal engine and they concede. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video of ADP Birds. You have some good matchups across the field. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to destroy the hell out of the like button. Helps out in many, many ways. And uh, yeah, if you are, of course, looking for a new deck, this is the channel to be. You get daily Pokemon TCG content. So be sure you are subscribed. Go check out our sponsors, potownstore.com, the best website to, of course, get TCGO code cards. Whether you're looking for a, a Zacian code, a Crobat code, whatever you need, they have everything up on stock, even chilling raincoats. Use the coupon code ZABLUSTCG for 5% of your next order. Also, if you're a European player, go check out cartmarket.com by checking out the link in the description. You're going to be able to buy and sell cards to people all across Europe that way. Super nice website. I personally use it every day. And then last but not least, go check out yourplaymat.com. This is a... a, a yeah, a website that uh, where you can create your own unique custom playmat. They ship worldwide and you get 10% uh, of your next order if you click the link in the description. So uh, designing and creating your own unique custom playmat for the new season. Be sure to do it. And uh, anyhow, I will see you guys in the next video. And uh, I wish you all a very fantastic rest of your day. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.